Yeah. All right, my man. State your name. Let them know you on Nick TV. What's up, Deshaun? Bro, here on Nick TV right now. That's what's up. Nick fan? Yes, I am, of course. All day, every day. You know, okay, man. all right, all right, all right. Talk to me about that bull logo on your hat, though. What's oh, up with man. that? You know what? It's just a hat I got for my sister right now, which was a New York logo. All right, right. it's all good. Yeah, you know, you know, you my man. This is my, this is a close friend of mine, you know, so just fucking around with him. So you're a New York fan? Yes. All right, now talk to me. Who you like on the Knicks? And who do you think should go? Let's jump straight to it. We all know that the New York Knicks. Is that the trading block right now? Oh, it's gonna be yeah. some people that's gonna get axed out. Hell yeah. Who you think is gonna remain and who you think gonna go? If you ask me, we need to get rid of everybody on the Knicks right now. You we said need, everybody. We need to get rid of everybody. We need to get the whole new roster out here, man. It's like we got a bunch of no talented white boys playing for us right now. Because I can't hear you, bro. We got a bunch of no main talented white boys playing for us. Only hope we got is Bazingas and Kevin Knox. That's about it. Other than that, man, we need more out here. You don't think Trey, you don't, you don't like Trey Burke on the, on the Knicks? I mean, yeah, I do. For me, I just want, I want a real star on for us. Bro, I think we need to get back to that mellow way, man. I'm looking for the next big star for us from New York. Yeah. Mello. And we can let me like KD out here. Somebody, okay, it's man. possible that we could get KD. Yeah, we But you said that. something interesting, man. Usually somebody tells me, oh, we should get rid of this person, keep this person. You saying the whole damn roster? Yeah, the whole roster, man. The whole damn. roster, everybody. I mean, we doing good now, but it'd be nice while I be watching them. These guys play really inconsistent, man. You know, they'll be good for one minute. But so I, I think they tanking. I think they, they. I think the Knicks is losing games on purpose, man. You go out to London, you you lose to the Wizards, I, I believe, by one point. You play the Nets, you lose by nine points. Like, these games is fucking close. Yeah, they, they are close. But then it's also like... It could be that the point that they're losing this, like you said, because I know it's a lot of players on the team right now that the coach and them want to play. Like, I forgot I was sitting there that he ain't trying to play right now. Like Canna, and it's Canna. Yeah, and it's Canna been bitching. Right now. You know, maybe if we get him on the floor, we can do a little better. So maybe it'd be like that, like they lose it on purpose. But who asked me personally, we get rid of the whole roster. Start it over, man. Not even that. Get rid of that man that owns the New York Knicks too. He's oh, well, that ain't gonna happen, head. James Dolan, man. Yeah, that ain't yeah, gonna happen. He's but but let me ask you this: Do you think that Trey Burke is being shitted on? Nah. Huh? Well, 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 I don't. Know. You don't think Trey Burke is getting shitted on, man? That his lack of play. He's not getting the minutes on the court that he should be getting because Coach Frizzell is putting a lot of time in Emmanuel Moutier. Yeah, and um. Oh, yeah, Frank Nilakina nah, sitting yeah. down every other game. I don't know what's up with Frank Nilakina. So I'm saying we need to get rid of everybody. Even the coach got to go, man. You what? You said get rid of Coach Fitz down? Yeah, because look what he's doing. He just got here. Nah, we got to need he's, somebody else. But he's I mean, cleaning the house, man. He is, but at the same time, it's like we are losing badly out here. Man. Really bad. I don't want to I don't want to be on scared to root for the Knicks right now. I can't lie oh come you, on, man. man! I know you ain't say get rid of Coach Fizdale. Yes, we need a new coach, somebody that's going on. Even at it, I know he don't want to play them because he's playing a losing route right now. So he don't want to get all this. Well, stuff according to Coach Fizdale, he want to put his emphasis on the youth. He want to like nourish him so when Chris Porzingis come back, they be ready. Like look at Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson just came off an injury, yeah. and not for nothing. I just think Mitchell Robinson need to bulk up. But besides of that, he's squatting, blocking shots and shit. What do you feel? You you saying get rid of Mitchell Robinson too? Yeah, no, um, maybe not. I'm gonna say keep Mitchell, keep Hakeem, and um. What about Kevin Knox? Get rid of Kevin Knox too? Nah, I like Knox. I oh, like damn, there's some yeah, hope, yeah, man. Yeah, you like you said the whole nah. team. I mean, like the God ones, damn. the ones that's not playing consistent for us. You know, the ones that show up certain nights and then the other nights they not there at all. But but, but let's not forget though. I, I feel you on that. But what about play? All right. Prime example, Anis Cam. I like Anis Cam. He don't play defense. Yeah. So that's why I'm pissed and I'm calling him Medea and all types of shit because he's bitching. And I feel that he should just, he knew what he was getting into when he came into the city of New York. Yeah. He knew this was a rebuilding mode. You feel me? So he should have had known that the Knicks wasn't going nowhere. But my thing with him is that he's worrying about his individual stats. He want to go to the All-Star. He want this. Yeah. He want that. It's I, I, I with him. But other than that, and Chris Pazingas not playing, no, not Chris Pazingas, and his can, excuse me, not playing defense the way he should. That's my only beef with him. Other than that, he's Mr. Double Double. You want yeah. him to go too? I wouldn't say, I don't, it's hard to say. 
because like Canada, I mean, he's good. Like only wrong with boy rebounds, but blocks, play defense, he scores for us. He does all he does all that for us. Rebound, score, block, everything. But I just feel like we need a more dominant team right now, especially the way the East is. The Knicks that we have now ain't gonna make it for us. Like I could understand we getting Pazingas back next year, but then what we gonna get with after that? What else we gonna have, man? Like we we gotta go back into this rebuild mode even better, man. We gotta do something like how Brooklyn did. What they doing out there? Them boys went nothing or something out there. They went from being in the last place down this year to they are in the sixth spot in the East. We need to do some shit like that. Bro, I, 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 I'm telling you, I'm not convinced that the Knicks is what, 10 and 37? Yeah. I'm not convinced that those are actual wins and losses, man. I feel personally that the Knicks are tanking. Nah, I think those are actual losses because the way them boys is complaining about how much they want to win. Those is losses. Everybody feel bad that they losing right now. Nobody want to lose. So if nobody want to lose, everybody should step it up and have it hard to win. But nobody has given us that win yet. But so have you noticed that Ennis Canna been giving out hints that they taking? He said, I want to win. I came to win, not to lose. I want to play. You think you got Ennis Canna. You got Trey Burke. You got uh, Alonzo Trier. You got Kevin Knox, Mitchell yeah. Robinson. You put these names on paper. You telling me that you would expect the Knicks to win just 10 games? Yeah, remember, all names look good on paper. Anything can look good on paper. It's about how they perform on that call. Now, like how you said, Kenneth, he ain't really been doing his defense and shit like that lately. That's why he not in the game. Like, there's really, like... I'm going to tell you like this. When I watch the Knicks play, I notice that we give up a good game for the first half. Our game fuck-ups is in the fourth quarter. We can't stay strong and keep it consistent in the fourth. Sometimes we'll do it, and sometimes we won't. Especially if we have the lead, we always blow the lead in the fourth quarter. Always blow the lead. That's how we lose in the fall. In the last minutes of the game, we always lose, man. Trust me. I don't think it's just that the Knicks are taking. So, so you, th- you think the Knicks just suck like that? They're just sucking right now. I think it's a sucking cut test situation. Like, look at the other day. They was up the other day. They took James Harden. They was playing James Harden. Boom. They was going round for round with James with the threes. Even went up by 12 on this man. What happened? This man just went off in the fourth quarter. He it, Even though James Harden missed about four threes in a row that game. Yeah, he was at the foul line yeah, 25 you know what I'm times. Saying? Like, it's on us. Like, we can't, we can't allow shit like that to happen. We can't allow one guy to get to the line constantly like that in a game and give his team the, the victory. We should have took that game. All right, so let me ask you this, brother. What about the fact that Coach Fizdale is putting his rookies out there when you got vets that could fulfill that position in North? You don't think that's suspect? Yeah, I did. That's what I'm saying. That coach got to go. So I can understand his move where he wanted these youths to play and all that. But right now, as a Knicks fan, we want to see these Ws. We don't want to be the laughing stock of the league. We don't want anybody just to come to the garden and feel like that's an easy victory. We want niggas to still feel when they come here. We still should be that team that when you come to New York and play, you got to bring your A game. Now niggas don't got to bring their A game. They just got to bring their B game, and they can win a game with us. That's it. Yeah, but it's one thing for, for that to happen because the lack of talent. Yeah. I don't think the Knicks got a lack of talent. I think Coach Fizdale is playing some strategy basketball and he's looking into the future I, he could be very well doing all this for zion or williams yeah true you know i uh, mean adam silver ain't come out yet i'll be scared when i be watching these games like adam silver gonna stick his head out and be like yo what the fuck is going on in here man with these knicks man nice. y'all tank it on purpose and start throwing fines. I'm surprised Fizz don't get fined yet for this shit. Because I'm telling you, if they is doing this taking shit, the way he doing it is real small. Because I'm telling you, they blowing these games at the end of the games a lot now. A lot of the times, the Knicks go up by double digits. They'll go up double digits and still fucking lose. And still lose. I don't see how that's possible. That's why we got the line. I'm like, how you say we got? You still out here getting high ass buzz. Yeah, and my, and my thing with that is because he getting something out of the deal for next year. I guarantee you, this is Nickavelli talking, y'all. Yeah. Next year, I predict the Knicks gonna have over forty wins. I hope so, man. Over forty. I hope so. Man. And I wanna up, I wanna up the number up because I'm not convinced that these Knicks suck that bad. I think it's some fucking, it's a hidden agenda, and we all know that the Knicks wanna be a playoff contender well, team. Let me, let me give you an example how they. This is why I think they suck so bad because. Even the Knicks players say this. Even when I watch the game, I hear the commentary say the same thing. The Knicks 
when they get the ball down court, say they get the rebound, they get the ball down court. They don't want to look for the open man or try to play team ball. They playing self ball. I mean, the first one down the court with the ball is the first one to shoot. First one touch the ball when they get down court, that's the first one to shoot. That's losing basketball all around. That ain't no strategy that the Knicks is taking. That's just one play on the Knicks trying to show up, and they can't. We all can't do that. We need team ball right now. So that sounds like that's being rehearsed, right? Yeah. It could be. Don't that sound like it's being rehearsed? If you see a play and they doing the same shit consistently over and over again, that sound like, yo, that ain't no mistake, man. It could it could be, but then it sound like to me that we just got a bunch of players out here that's trying to play that hero basketball right now. We got a bunch of players right now that when they get that ball, if you ask me, they just want to take that shot so they can make it and they can be like, hey, I'm the guy that did this for us. I'm the guy that got us this W. I don't think it's that the Knicks are safe. I think that they're just playing really bad right now. We All right, and bad. there we have it, man. It's your boy Nick Avelli on Nick Avelli TV. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And we out of here. Yo, I want to thank you for coming on my no channel problem, and speaking, bro. man. No we going to get to the bottom of this shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Whether the Knicks is tanking or not. Yeah. I say they tanking. Peace. We All out. Right.